Hello and welcome to another episode of Danny's Tips. A lot of you have shown great interest in my tone chart tutorial, and I'm so happy you guys found it useful. So before I start creating other types of videos, I should expand on the tone chart technique and show you guys another one of my secret tricks. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to take a bunch of layers and compress them down into a single tone curves adjustment layer. This is a very efficient way of color grading, and if you're interested, keep watching and I'll show you how it's done. Before we begin, I'm going to create a color grading effect using a lot of layers. This is a very amateur way of doing things, but it's also very common. Now you don't have to follow along, I'm just going to speed up the video and when we're done, I will show you how to turn all of those layers into a single tone curves adjustment. That clip is something that I hope not a lot of people do because it's very inefficient. It's also dangerous to your image quality and I'll show you why later. Now I'm going to show you how to convert all of these layers into a single tone curve adjustment. Keep in mind that the tone curve can't do stuff like changing the saturation, shifting the hues, adding vignettes or noise, etc. It can only make changes to the tone and add tints to different tonal areas. So now that you know the limitations of the tone curve, let's start the tutorial. First, add a tone chart to your image. There's a Photoshop action that you can download, and you can find the download link in the video description. Select the tone chart action, then hit the play button on the bottom of the panel. This action will create a tone chart for us automatically. If you want to learn more about the tone chart, click here to watch the tutorial. We don't need the curves adjustment layer, so delete the layer by selecting it and hitting the backspace key on your keyboard. Drag the tone chart layer group so that it's below all of the layers that you use to create the effect. So now you can see that this tone chart is already telling us what color is in the blacks, shadows, midtones, highlights, and whites. And we're going to clone this effect using a curves adjustment layer. Go to your actions panel and play the tone chart action again. It should automatically place the tone chart and curves adjustment on the top of your layer stack. Select the tone chart group, then use the move tool by pressing V and then drag the tone chart up so that it's above the other chart like this. Make sure that there are no gaps in between the two charts. If there is, just press the down arrow key on your keyboard until the gap is gone. Now we're going to make the top chart match the bottom chart with the curves adjustment. There's already a curves adjustment layer created for you, and it's the top layer. So select this layer. Now when you make changes to this layer, it's going to affect the entire image. So to make it so it only affects the tone chart layer below, click on this button. Now your adjustments will only affect the tone chart. For the curves, we're going to use the red, green, and blue channels. We're not going to use the RGB channel. This is called a 3 channel curve because you're only using 3 of the 4 channels. Compared to a 4 channel curve, it's less proper and harder to understand when you're just looking at it. But you can get the same results and it's easier to do when all you're doing is just copying an effect. Anyways, here's the secret trick. Open the channels panel, and if you don't see it, you can find it by going to Window, Channels. Select the red channel, and now you're looking just at the red channel. Now go back to your curves, and switch to the red channel. Select the Auto Select Targeted Adjustment tool, then drag vertically on the upper tone chart until it blends in with the tone chart below like this. Do this for all 5 tonal areas. When you're done, do the same thing with the green channel. So in the Channels panel, select the green channel. Then go back to the Curves Adjustment, and switch to a green channel. Use the Auto Select Targeted Adjustment tool to do the same thing and make the upper chart blend in with the bottom chart. Finally, we're going to match the blue channel. So in the Channels panel, select the blue channel. Go back to the Curves Adjustment and switch to a blue channel. Do the same thing, make the upper chart match the bottom chart. And we're done! So we'll switch back to the RGB mode in the Channels panel, and your upper chart should look like the bottom chart. If it does, congratulations because you just learned an awesome new trick with the tone chart. Now before we finish, it's a good idea to save your curves as a preset. Click on the Properties panel menu and select Save Curves Preset. Give it a name, then click OK. You can now access this curve at any time from the Presets drop-down menu. Here's how the image looks like before and after. 
Now we're going to compare the results between the two techniques. The image on the left is made with many layers. The image on the right is made with just a single tone curves adjustment. One thing to notice is, aside from the histogram which obviously shows better image quality on the tone curves adjustment, is to look at the color transition here. You can see that there's a much smoother transition and there's less of the posterized effect. And there you go guys, that's how you compress a bunch of layers down into a tone curves adjustment. Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video. If you found it helpful, click the like button. So there's other ways you can use this technique. For example, maybe there's a camera app with, with a filter that you really like. Well, what you can do is you can save an image of the tone chart, process it in your camera app, and then bring that image back into Photoshop. Now you can use the same tone chart matching technique to create a tone curve out of it. Now the tone curve won't do everything. You might need to use a hue saturation adjustment layer to finalize the look. But with those two layers, you can create nearly any color grading effect. And if you're interested in that, uh, check out one of my earlier videos. Uh, it'll teach you how to create your own film looks from scratch, and it'll use the same two-layer approach. Anyways, thanks for watching my video guys. I hope you have an awesome week. Um, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button below.